Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, August 19th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today, Xavier brings us an interesting piece of Python code that's intended to steal credentials from Google Chrome. Now you may ask, do I have to worry about this? Because a lot of Windows workstations, of course, don't have Python installed. Well, an attacker typically will use PyInstaller, which is a program that takes the Python code, wraps it up with the Python interpreter and all the necessary libraries, and then essentially presents it as a Windows executable. Not exactly compiled, but really has the same feel to it. In this case, the attacker was grabbing those credentials from Google Chrome and then exfiltrating them to Dropbox. Dropbox is sort of an interesting target here. Don't really see this a lot. And of course, one of the stealthy properties here of Dropbox is that uh, this code will less likely get detected because a lot of uh, Enterprise, of course, are using Dropbox in their day-to-day -day business. However, because the attacker did use Dropbox, it was actually possible to learn a little bit more about the attacker. As part of this malware, an access token was included in the Python code, and it was only, well, pretty basically obfuscated. And as a result, it was pretty easy to use that access token, connect back to Dropbox, and get some account information about the attacker, like, for example, the attacker's Gmail address, handle, and additional information, like a profile picture. Now we have an interesting vulnerability in Jenkins, the DevOps tool, of course, like many of these complex uh, systems, there tend to be quite a few vulnerabilities in this type of software. So always a good reminder to make sure that Jenkins is up to date. This particular vulnerability, while it does have a CVSS rating of 9.4, I think is probably a little bit tricky to exploit. In order to exploit this vulnerability, an attacker has to trigger a response from Jenkins with an oversized response header. Now, this apparently can happen without authentication. The tricky part here is that the exception that's being triggered by that oversized response header may actually include response headers from another request than the one triggered by the attacker. And response headers, of course, do sometimes include, for example, set cookie headers and such that may then be used for authentication. Now, an attempted exploit would trigger a 431 error. These errors aren't terribly common, so something probably worthwhile to look out for. And Chrome continues down the path of warning users of insecure, meaning non-HTTPS content. Today, Chrome announced that in version 86, which is expected to be released in October, insecure forms will no longer be supported by autofill. So you have to actually type in the data and a small dialogue, kind of like a little tooltip, will warn you that the form that you're typing your data in is not secure. And also remember, while we're talking about browsers that starting September 1st, so have a little bit less than two weeks, browsers will no longer support certificates that are valid for longer than a year. But this will only apply to certificates issued after September 1st. I think the most likely spot where these days you will find certificates that are valid for longer than a year is probably internal certificate authorities. I expect that all public certificate authorities will stop issuing certificates that are valid for more than a year starting September 1st. 
And via help that security comes a story about a crypto jacking worm that steals AWS credentials. At this point, it appears to target Docker systems. We had these attacks against Docker with usually misconfigured containers or not protected APIs, but apparently they're also going after Kubernetes, which is usually APIs and well, a Jenkins server. So did I say better update those Jenkins servers? This is it for today. If you like this podcast, as usual, please recommend it and invite your friends to listen, your enemies too, I don't care, and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.